damn son, every single one of these episodes aren't just some of my favorite episodes of the series, but of all of anime. Shut up and sit down. Yo, what's good? It's a boy did the views and slight spoilers. And this show has a lot of great bangers from shocking revelations and twists to non-stop action. This show has it all. But what, in my opinion, is the greatest season premiere episode? I'll be ranking every single season premiere episode from the very worst to the very best. Basically, episode one of each season, including the parts where the season was split up. So I'm also going to include season three part two's episode because that is considered a premiere. And of course, I will probably do a mention of season one, episode 14. Even though it wasn't a premiere, it's still the beginning of the second half of season one. So without further ado, let's rank every single season premiere of Attack on Titan from the very worst to the very best. Heavy spoilers for pretty much all four seasons, so I recommend you going ahead and watching the show and then coming back to this video. But along with the countdown, and at number 5 and at last place is Season 3 Episode 1 Smoke Signal. And what's this episode all about? Eren is made to run some tests in Titan form but fails to harden his body. Hanji brings news of Pastor Nick's death at the hands of the interior MPs. The scouts then flee to trust after hearing from Erwin. Levi runs a decoy strategy so Jean and Armin are abducted instead of the targets. As Jean watches a distressed Armin in Historia's dress, Levi comes face to face with an old friend or a new foe. And this episode, let's talk about the good. And it does a lot of setting up for this season, which all begins with the death of Pastor Nick and how the MPs are sort of behind this and this mystery and all this conspiracy behind the royal government. I like some of the small character moments with Sasha and Armin as Eren and Historia sort of friendship sort of developing in this episode and of course towards the end Levi confronted Kenny and that great stellar animation by One Wit Studio. However this episode was a little bit of a bore to watch at times despite Wit Studio cutting a lot of bits from the manga out due to the fact that Isayama found the pacing of this arc to be kind of slow and sluggish. Nothing of real impact or interest truly happens. Yeah, Levi confronts Kenny face to face, but it's still like, eh, we could do with a little bit more Titan action. Not a bad episode, but the others are just so much better. At number four, we have got the town where everything began, which is episode 13 of the season three and the 50th episode overall. And the scouts being confused as to where their enemy could be heading at. There's no one there, but Armas the only one who sort of discovers and finds out the location of Reiner and the Beast Titan appears and it's just non-stop epicness. Well, in terms of the good, I really did like Armin taking command and him being the one to discover where Reiner was. It just shows you how far Armin's come as a character and his clever and sharp intuition never fails. I like the scene with Armin and Eren as Eren's flashing back to before Armin told him about his book and how he had no direction in life and he just sort of looked up at the skies and then how him understanding the truth about the world started this sort of determination to get his freedom back and I love the sort of appearance of the Beast Titan as Erwin is sort of commanded the troops to attack Reiner and he's just so surprised and the shock look on his face was just amazing. Levi just running down stabbing Reiner, man the animation was absolute OP on that. At number 3 we have Beast Titan season 2 episode 26 and the first episode of season 2. After 4 years of waiting Wit Studio returns with the greatness that is Shingeki no Kyojin. Hanji interrogates Pastor Nick after discovering a titan within the walls. Titans are spotted southwards by Michi and he goes to confront one Beast Titan. What I loved about this episode was the scene between Hanji and Pastor Nick. Seeing a bit of Hanji's dark side, we're so used to this girl being cute, bubbly, hyperactive but when it comes to the lives of humanity and the people inside the walls and the threat of titans, she just goes full on commander mode and just her threatening Pastor Nick off the wall and just that great animation of Pastor Nick and that sort of divine swan like pose that he did across the walls. I also loved the animation with the beast time throwing the horse towards Meek and that disgusting end to Meek, Mitch, 
can't pronounce his name properly, but the dude who got devoured by all the Titans towards the end. And even the surprise revealed that the Titans can actually talk as well. Must have been a big moment for anime only when they found that out. The Beast Titan design, the lighting, the shading, the drawing, the art is just beautiful and majestic and the animation on him was just super fluid. Michi's death was absolutely heartbreaking to watch and it's pretty damn hard to watch because it's so gruesome which you do not censor anything at all. It kind of reminds the audience that even though we'd had some funny moments with Sasha and Connie earlier on and some heartfelt moments with Mikasa and Eren, it just sort of brings you back to the dark reality that is Attack on Titan and how no one is safe and anyone can bite the dust at any given time. Number two and number one were pretty damn hard to rank. One of the episodes is my favourite season premiere episode while the other one is my better made episode. It was just directed and lit and drawn beautifully that I just had to put it at number one. So number two is The Other Side of the Sea from season four episode one of the final season. The very first episode to be produced by the new studio that is Studio Mapa. And what's this episode all about? Well, it's set four years after the events of the main season and Marley tries to end the four year conflict with the Mid East Allied forces sparked by their defeat in Shinganshina after Reiner and Zeke were brutally defeated. Four kids are introduced as potential warrior cadets to either inherit the armor, cart or jaw titans respectively and it's just whole carnage when Reiner and Zeke enter the battle against the allied forces. And what I liked about this episode was just how it just threw you into this fight without you truly knowing. When I read this in the manga originally, I kind of didn't like this chapter. I didn't understand what was going on, if it was set in the past or the future. But watching this in anime form, I flipping loved this episode so much. I loved the whole world building. It kind of felt like a soft reboot of Attack on Titan, reintroducing you to the world of Attack on Titan, introducing you to who the Titans are, why they're a threat, reminding you of how terrifying they are, despite how amazing and cool they are when we see Reiner and Zeke just sort of fighting in the battlefield. And just the introduction to the new characters like Gabby and Falco. I flipping loved Gabby in this episode, even though a lot of fans hated her. Ayan Sakura, who voices Gabby in Japanese, did a flipping good job in terms of acting and performance. She had a lot of crazy moments, like her laughing as she's blowing up the mid East Force people. I mean, my gosh. And in terms of animation, I remember a lot of people being pretty worried with the new MAPA studio taking over Attack on Titan. And even me, I was kind of concerned. But I'm not going to lie, I flipping love this episode. And I think this is definitely one of the best episodes of season 4 so far. I love the way the designs look in this episode. Long gone are the days of super bright colour palettes and highlights. Now dingy, sort of washed out colours, symbolising that... Now the real threat are humans and no longer tie-ins and it just makes the whole situation way more grey instead of black and white. A lot of cool animation sequences in terms of character motion and running, I was super impressed. Facial expressions were super emotive and the CGI tie-ins, although pretty polarising depending who you talk to, I loved them. I loved each and every one of them. Galliard's tie-in was absolutely beautifully animated, including Peak's tie-in as well had a lot of cool motion and there was a lot more action going on when Rhino was sort of running around bashing and crashing the walls made by the Midis Fort skies. Although the Beast Titan is a little bit higgledy piggledy at times, a bit mixed but there were some nice shots of him throwing the rocks towards the boats. An honourable mention is Season 1 Episode 1 which is Episode 14 titled can't look into his eyes eve of the encounter attack part one and this is basically Aaron's trial episode where levi flipping kicks the living daylights out of him it's the start of the second half of the season and even though this was all premiering around the same time so there were no long breaks i would sort of include this as an honorable mention because it is the start of the second main arc of this season and I flipping loved it. I love some of the art on Mikasa's face as she's reacting to Levi being the crap out of Eren or Eren's screaming match against the MPs and everyone in the jury and even Hanji's crazy entrance as she meets Eren for the first time. It was a good fun episode. Well pretty dark at times. 
But number one has to be without a doubt to you in 2000 years, The Foolish and Gunch in the part one. Now, I loved all those episodes before, but mate, I think it will be disrespectful for me not to put this at number one because this is the episode that got me hooked into the show to begin with. I mean, where do we begin? Well, let's start with the plot of this episode. 100 years after the appearance of the Titans, humanity receives a grim reminder of the threat that the Titans pose. I mean, my gosh, this episode just sort of kicked up. I flipping love the sort of teaser that we got at the beginning of the episode with Armas narration saying that on this day, humanity received the grim reminder and the beautiful art of the colossal Titan looking down at the civilians inside the walls. I love the little glimpses of memories that Eren gets as he's waking up from this long dream that he had with Mikasa foreshadowing to some pretty dark things leading to the future and of course the moment where his mother got eaten. The UC Big Girl song playing as Eren screaming for her mother. Dubbed and sub did really good jobs but the sub was where you had to watch it. I mean his scream was absolutely heartbreaking. I loved the bit with Hans as he sort of trying to be the hero to save Carla, but then he just stops at him in fear as he's looking up at the Titans, just reminding the audience that yeah, even the bravest of men can just sort of fall down and just buckle into fear. Even that shot with the man giving the woman the missing limb of her dead boy and the guy just cannot bring himself to lie to this woman. The dude keeps it real and just breaks down saying that was it all for nothing and damn, he just really sets up all the darkness that's about to come to this show and that's why this episode is my favorite it's the one that truly hooked me to the show the setup the world building the art animation score voice acting was just all near perfect and that's why this episode is my favorite season premiere episode of the entire show but tell me in the comments down below what you thought of this ranking did you like it did you hate it which season premiere is your favorite tell me i'd like to know and which is your least favorite thank you for watching like subscribe for more attack on titan reviews and reactions and all that jazz thank you for watching board of the view signing out